uh, everybody uh, who really wants to follow the uh, lecture is here so we are beginning and today i'm sharing my video uh, today i'm going to speak with you about uh, product uh, life cycle strategies and uh, just a moment, I will share my video with you. Okay, and uh, what is more important today, we will speak uh, about how to evaluate uh, different uh, stages of life cycle within a diversified company. So before uh, we have analyzed uh, two matrices, um, BCG matrices and uh, General Electric matrices. And in both uh, matrices, uh, we, uh, it was only possible to take into account uh, some stage of life cycle, but indirectly. And uh, today um, we will speak uh, about uh, the possibility how uh, it could be possible to add the third uh, dimension to our matrices, to add the time dimension. But uh, before uh, speaking about uh, this problem, let's speak about, let's discuss um, about generally uh, life cycle. I think the information is quite simple, so I won't uh, discuss uh, this information in details, but uh, as far as this information is crucial for us, so I have to mention uh, some key points. Let's begin. Uh, if speaking about uh, any product, uh, any product uh, has uh, the following stages of um, <clears throat> life cycle from idea generation, then idea screening, uh, developing uh, concept development and testing, then developing uh, marketing uh, strategy, then business analysis, then product development, then test marketing, and then commercialization. Uh, these stages generally are connected to any product uh, which you want to launch at any market. Uh, and uh, let's speak very briefly about every stage. Uh, if speaking about idea generation, uh, here I'd like to mention that uh, there are uh, two uh, type of sources, internal sources. Uh, here I uh, placed uh, Sony Walkman, maybe somebody knows uh, this interesting story. Uh, really, it really worth uh, reading. Uh, so you can find, you can Google it. If uh, very briefly, uh, one uh, uh, man in this company decided to uh, produce this type of uh, uh, player. Uh, here is in blue and it was very funny time then uh, people uh, like to use really big uh, magnetophones and uh, this idea was rather strange but they decided to try and it was very strange for the company generally because uh, nobody thought that uh, it is really a good idea to produce something, uh, some device uh, which uh, produces music only in headphones, only for the listener. Nowadays, it is quite uh, natural for us. For example, uh, if speaking about me, I can't imagine uh, any flight without uh, headphones and no crying, uh, no baby crying uh, around me, so I'm listening to my music and that's all. Uh, 
but it was a generally internal source of information, but it could be also some external uh, sources of information for ideas. Mm, uh, it could be customers, it could be competitors, it could be uh, distributors, it could be suppliers, it could be outsourcing. Here I decided to um, uh, put the picture uh, of uh, chocolate bars and microwave uh, device. Uh, generally, uh, it is also a very interesting story. You can Google it, uh, you can find this information. Uh, uh, when uh, the microwave oven uh, was invented, uh, it was uh, really interesting. Uh, it was connected with uh, military staff. One uh, major uh, worked uh, near to the magnetron and he had uh, a chocolate bar in his pocket and uh, he found that uh, the chocolate became liquid and uh, then people uh, tried to analyze this effect of mic microwave. Um, uh, and uh, they uh, and people uh, invented uh, this uh, device, microwave oven. Uh, uh, and uh, the next um, uh, the next <coughs> stage is idea screening. It means that uh, you have to choose among uh, all ideas, good ideas. And here is. Uh, the picture you can see that among uh, about uh, 3,000 uh, ideas uh, there are only 10% ideas which really uh, can work and it is possible to create uh, a little bit more than 100 concepts from these and uh, it is possible to uh, produce uh, two uh, commercially ready ideas and only one idea from 3,000 ideas uh, usually has commercial success, so it is profitable. Uh, the next uh, step is concept development and testing. So uh, at least stage uh, it must be decided is it theoretically possible to uh, uh, to imagine i i wanted uh, for the first time to say produce no not even to produce to imagine uh, the product which uh, meets uh, the uh, mentioned uh, the mentioned uh, features uh, then uh, we have to uh, look at this project from the point of marketing. So generally uh, uh, all these points are close to 4P uh, by Kotler, uh, product place, uh, price and promotion. So we have to uh, think about uh, marketing mix for every product. We have to think about target market, we have to think about price, distributional channels, uh, and also we have to uh, think about uh, promotion. Uh, and uh, here uh, I decided to put uh, two products uh, which failed. Uh, all of the products are, are connected with the firm Apple. Uh, also it is very interesting story. Uh, generally uh, Apple company uh, over, uh, took uh, it's time and they tried to launch a PC uh, uh, computer, uh, not PC, but um, how to say, hand uh, computers, uh, Newton, and also they tried to launch uh, digital cameras, uh, but uh, these products uh, had uh, a big number of uh, negative uh, characteristics, so uh, it failed. And Please take in account uh, that only 
uh, less than uh, ten percent uh, products are uh, still profitable after uh, three years from launching. Uh, then you have to uh, uh, create a business analysis for uh, your uh, uh, product. Uh, at this stage, you are thinking uh, only from the point of consumer, and here you have to think from the point of producer whether it is possible for you to produce these very. Um, product. Uh, having understood that uh, theoretically it is possible to produce you, are uh, trying to build a general product line for this uh, production. For under the product line, I, I mean not only, uh, I mean not only, uh, for example, <clears throat> Uh, some uh, equipment or uh, some sets of equipment uh, but uh, here we are thinking uh, about connecting some business processes uh, into one project. Uh, usually we are producing uh, not a big quantity of a product but we are producing some uh, testing uh, quantity of uh, product and uh, we are trying to ask uh, some group of uh, our customers uh, whether they are satisfied uh, with the product or not. And only then it is possible to think about profit, about profitability of our uh, products. Uh, and uh, taking into account uh, everything mentioned, uh, it is possible to uh, define product life cycle uh, which contains uh, product development, introduction, growth, maturity and decline. And uh, the curve uh, looks like this. Uh, so here is uh, our sales and here is our profits. Uh, at this stage, uh, we don't have any product inflows uh, in product development. That's why uh, it's not possible for us to get uh, cash inflows. That's why this uh, uh, interval, this time interval is connected with loses. So, uh, generally, and uh, please take into account that uh, any product, any product uh, has some uh, uh, curve of life cycle. Even if you think that uh, the production uh, or not only production but sales are stable even for any product uh, it has some uh, period of growth maturity and decline even if we speak about i don't know even if we speak about bread yes uh, the consuming of bread is generally is stable but uh, you might uh, see the situation that for the last uh, maybe five or uh, six seven years people are switching from big uh, producers of bread uh, they are switching to small producers they are switching to some bakeries uh, to buy uh, bread with higher quality so we if we analyze some part of this market some part for example if speaking about kulinichi so for them this curve will be like this i think uh, this market is at the stage of decline 
And uh, let's speak about uh, every stage uh, in uh, details. Uh, no, I might be not in details, but a little bit more brief, little bit more uh, in details because we need this information for uh, our matrices. So, sorry. Uh, if uh, uh, speaking about this uh, curve, we have to think about uh, not only a product, but about some type of the product, uh, about uh, uh, form of the product. And we have to take into account that uh, sometimes, sometimes this curve uh, looks a little bit in different way. Generally, it has the same, how to say, structure that growing, that some stable or peak and then uh, declining, but sometimes it could be style, for example, in uh, uh, fashion industry, in fashion industry, <coughs> We have some uh, like waves, and also it is uh, connected. It could be connected with some um, seasonable products. Uh, here uh, we have uh, fashion that here it is fashionable, and uh, when fashion is gone. Uh, uh, nobody uh, will uh, return to this idea and fed means very high peak of uh, uh, fashion uh, for example as example I could uh, set you for example spinners maybe you remember last year it was very popular uh, device for children it is some uh, the circle and they rated it and uh, nowadays nobody uh, used it at, and uh, last year it was a really fashionable uh, device in our country uh, if speaking about the most funny uh, most funny fed for me uh, maybe you know what is tamagotchi uh, who uh, doesn't know, you can Google uh, what is Tamagotchi. It was very funny, uh, small device. Uh, it was some uh, electronic device, very small. And uh, it was some program and it was like, uh, you have a pet, you have to feed it. Just by pushing the button, you have to, um, you had to, uh, play this uh, the pet and uh, it's just like virtual pet virtual pet and uh, a lot of people for example my sister really had this device and she uh, was uh, uh, liking to play with the device uh, and uh, the most uh, important practical problem connected with the life cycle uh, is that uh, usually it is uh, rather difficult to identify the stage. So uh, it means that uh, we are how to understand we are at maturity or we are growing or the market is uh, declining uh, for the first view it could be rather obvious but uh, when you uh, have to create this matrix you will understand that it's not uh, it's not easy it's not easy uh, and uh, a couple of words about every stage. Uh, if we're speaking about introduction, so sales, our our sales are rather low. Our costs uh, are very high because per every consumer, because uh, we don't, uh, we are not using the uh, effect of uh, the scope effect. So uh, the prices 
for raw materials for our company uh, are uh, very big at this very stage. Uh, profits are negative and the main uh, marketing objective is to create awareness uh, of our products among all uh, our consumers. Uh, it is uh, not possible to have uh, a a profit uh, at this stage and uh, at this stage we have to build our distributional uh, net. Uh, when uh, we are growing, uh, then sales uh, rapidly rising, yeah, costs uh, staying rather big uh, for every consumer, but <coughs> costs are uh, lower compared uh, with the previous situation, uh, we can go out from red uh, figures. It means that we are, uh, it is possible for our company to get profit, to become prof uh, profitable. Uh, and uh, the main marketing objective is to maximize uh, our market share and uh, the main uh, objective at this very stage to stay uh, the biggest uh, company uh, in the market or to become a leader of the market. And uh, the next stage is maturity. So we have a peak of our sales. Uh, the costs are very low because uh, at this very stage we have the best prices for our raw materials uh, and we know everything about our technology. So uh, our costs per every unit uh, are rather small, our profits are uh, high and uh, the main marketing, market, uh, marketing objectives at this stage is to uh, keep our clients and to maximize our profits. And uh, it is possible for our company to prolong to prolong uh, our uh, maturity stage. It is possible, first of all, to modify the market. So, for example, uh, to increase consumptions of a current product. Uh, during uh, our previous lectures, we spoke about uh, this possibility, for example, uh, to add some other uh, market. For example, we are producing like yogurts and we are uh, and we decided to produce special yogurts for uh, children. Uh, we uh, add some feature to this product so uh, it will be generally the same product but in a different packaging. Uh, we can uh, modify uh, the product, we can add some feature to the product uh, or uh, we can uh, uh, modify a marketing mix, for example, we can use uh, the different type of advertising campaign. And uh, the last uh, stage for any product is connected with uh, declining. Uh, it means that uh, at this stage we have um, not we, but in the market uh, usually appears uh, another type of the product which uh, satisfies uh, the need in the better way. So uh, generally uh, our customers, uh, they want to switch from our product to another uh, type uh, of products and uh, they after our sales are uh, decreasing and the sales of another uh, product uh, by near product is increasing at this stage uh, costs uh, still low but they are higher compared with maturity stage and uh, the main marketing objective at this very stage is to understand um, is to understand uh, where it is uh, 
uh, a correct time to leave this market. And generally, uh, all this uh, all this uh, life cycle uh, is shown at this very picture. So here we have by the first uh, line we have uh, uh, the curve for one product uh, and you know here is some waves uh, so we are trying to prolong maturity with product extension and with marketing development for example and here uh, we have to launch uh, the new product to uh, make our sales stable and uh, uh, one uh, very really smart scientist and uh, his name is Charles uh, Hofer uh, he uh, understood uh, these uh, situation and uh, he managed he managed to add uh, these, uh, not this one, but these curves uh, for uh, marketing, uh, for analysis, for strategic analysis of a diversified company. And uh, he managed to build a new type of a matrix, uh, which uh, takes into account, which takes into account uh, the different stages of uh, uh, products life cycle. And uh, during our second. Uh, part of today's lecture, we will speak about the matrices which uh, uses uh, this type of a curve. So uh, generally the outcome from this uh, piece of information that uh, any product uh, has the following uh, intervals, the following periods of life cycle product development, introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. Okay, uh, do you have any questions regarding the information? No. Okay, let's meet uh, in uh, five minutes after the break and uh, uh, during the uh, next part of our lecture, we will speak about the matrices connected with uh, the uh, connected with the curve. And one uh, question to Yulin Long: uh, Have you found the folder with all presentation, dear Yulin? Yes, I found that. I don't hear you. Uh, please, little bit. Uh -huh. Okay, I will use. I will use my hand. Uh, have you found? Yes. Yes. Okay. And also, have you found uh, the YouTube channel with previous lectures? Uh, all lectures uh, are recorded and um, you are welcome to visit my YouTube channel and all previous lectures connected with uh, the subject uh, are available so you uh, it is possible for you to uh, how to say to attend all lectures virtually from the very beginning okay 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 Okay, see you. Bye. See you after the break.